Hello and welcome to The Punchline. I'm your comic strip critic. Last week I took a look at a comics collection that was over two decades old, and a whole lot has changed in the time since then. Garfield has come out with a number of movies and video games, Pearls Before Swine started running, and Calvin and Hobbes stopped running. <laughs> I'll never forget you. <laughs> A lot of things have stayed the same, however. Some of them have stayed too much the same. One such example is the long-running military comic strip, Beetle Bailey. Mort Walker first created Beetle Bailey in September of 1950, and still has an active hand in creating it, usually producing it while his son Greg is the current artist. There are very few long-running cartoons that still have the original creator working on it in some capacity like this one, and I give Mr. Walker a ton of credit for not handing this franchise over to some corporate goon to be milked for all it's worth. Unlike some other cartoons I read, you already know most of these characters. Beetle Bailey, the eternal slacker and goof-off, Sergeant Snorkel, who berates and beats Beetle on a regular basis, General Half-Track, the incompetent officer in charge, Lieutenant Fuzz, the suck-up, Clueless Zero, Philosophical Plato, and Miss Boobs. Boozum, uh, Buxum, I mean Buxley, Buxley, yes, yes, that's what I said. Miss Buxley, the chick. Beetle and his crew have been around since the 1950s, but I want to know what they've been up to so far this year. What has the crew of Camp Swampy been up to in 2012? Let's find out. Well, Sarge kicks off the new year by kicking Beetle around. Good to play to your strengths, I guess. Beetle Billy's artwork has always been fairly dull, in my opinion. I know that it's the military, and a common uniform is part of the job, but the characters look too much the same. Give people some different distinctions. Give them different heights or differently shaped heads. A splash of color somewhere. The only unique feature most of the cast has is their hairstyles. These characters are essentially made by swapping out hair templates in a video game character creator. Okay, January 2nd, fairly average. January 3rd. I've always worried that there was some weird life in outer space. But I don't mind telling you, Harvey, I'm very relieved. Wait. What? Rabbit aliens? In Beetle Bailey? What in the... Where did the... How did... Where did they come from? What... What... What? What am I seeing here? I've got so many questions! Are, are Morton and Greg Walker telling me that every single rabbit is an alien from another planet? Where do they come from? Are they peaceful? Are they hostile? Why does their ship look like a barbecue grill? Why does Beetle, an active soldier in the military, not seem too upset over this. I mean, his laziness can only excuse so much here. Any soldier in the military would be looking at this and saying, Oh look, rabbits are aliens. No! They'd be looking at this and going, Holy crap, rabbits are aliens! Wait, 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 wait. Are carrots an alien crop of some kind? I'm just glad this is in a comic strip. Can you imagine what sort of crazy diseases you could get from an intergalactic space carrot? Oh, great. Okay, okay, okay. I've got to move on before my brain explodes trying to figure this one out. Next! Sarge sent us another message. Is he still mad? His cell phone has extra expletives. You know, I pay money for an app that cartoonizes incoming and outgoing swear words. You parked in my space again! I'll sue you! Okay, your lawyer can call my lawyer. Wait, we have the same lawyer. Good. That will save us both some money. Ah, Lieutenants Fuzz and Flap. They're on opposite ends of the coolness meter. Lieutenant Fuzz is a high-strung little whiny suck-up, and Lieutenant Flap is just... cool. I swear I can hear the old Spice guy in my head whenever I read his dialogue. Hello, Lieutenant Fuzz. Go call your lawyer, then I'll call mine. Go call your lawyer, then I can call mine. Fortunately, we both had the same lawyer, so that will save us both some money. I took your parking space. We can't go on the hike, Sarge. It's raining. We'll go as soon as it lets up. You'll have to stay up there until it gets dark. This... 
Actually, it seems like some, some folks in the military I met would actually try and pull off. Or it's something that the cast of Hogan's Heroes would attempt. Probably work for them. <laughs> we come up with some great lines. You know, we ought to be in a comic strip. Uh, come on, we're not that funny. No. No, you're not. I'm sorry, but I have to play bad cop here for a minute. I've shown you all the good Beetle Bailey comics so far, or at least the ones that are worth talking about. The number of good Beetle Bailey comics that I've shown you is seven. The number that I've skipped over, somewhere between 45 or 50. The good comics are vastly outnumbered by the bad, or far worse than being bad, are the boring. Most of the characters have one personality trait and that's it. There's no complexity to them, no hint of any deeper character. They've basically been the exact same since they were introduced. You could take a strip from 1962 and it wouldn't be out of place one bit 50 years later in 2012. Occasionally I catch glimpses of greatness here and there, but there's just too much blandness that condemns it. I read Beetle Billy every single day. I try and give it a shot. I try and give it a chance to make me laugh, but it's getting harder and harder to justify it. <sighs> Let's move on. Most of March, blah, 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 pretty stale and boring. Whoa, wait, 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 go back there. Was Dr. Bankas talking to a dog in a uniform? I've looked in all my books. I don't know what I can do. I think we should ask your wife how long she wants this curse to last. Curse? That guy had a curse put on him? Wait, what? You can't do that! You can't just start throwing curses of bunny aliens into this randomly! This is a military comic strip! What's next? I, are you going to include dinosaurs too? Is the doctor going to drop by for a visit? And who is that even supposed to be? I mean, to have the start made me think that it's General Halfcheck, but we're never told, and nobody mentions it ever again. So, yeah, this is Beetle Bailey in 2012. The military comic strip that features rabbit aliens and generals getting cursed into becoming dogs. I guess the end of the world is coming after all. I'm your comic strip critic, and I read the funny pages in the hope that someday they will be. Or that they'll at least make sense. Jeez! Uh -huh.